What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Tweener Head Tennis segment. Uh, you're here with Wilson. I am Phillips Racket, and we are going to be talking about me today. What are you doing? I'm, uh, talking, I'm, uh, I'm, do I'm videoing. No, this is my thing. What are you doing here? Just let me do it, okay? Just let me do it. No, this is, this is my thing. Just... This is my thing. Yeet! What's up, Tweenerheads? Welcome back to another video today here with Phil. And if you are new to the Tweenerhead Tennis family, welcome. This is where we talk about tennis in a less casual, in a less formal way, and the best on and off court content for the tennis world for you guys. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss any new videos that we're posting here on the channel. Now, if I sound like crap and it looks like I have black eyes, it's because I feel like duty i feel like crap right now i am actually sick i'm recovering from these damn allergies yesterday was the first day of spring so i'm just trying to suck it up at this point <laughs> so bear with me please um i, I just i just feel like crap <laughs> now i know i haven't done this segment in a while but we're gonna do another story time edition as to why i will be switching rackets i mean wilson and why I chose Wilson in the first place and why I'm switching. For one thing, uh, I would just want to thank Wilson for giving me the ability to play with a racket that I felt comfortable with my almost my entire life and a brand that I chose because I felt comfortable with and I grew up with. At the same time, I chose Wilson when I was a kid because when I first started playing tennis, why is this thing here? I chose Wilson uh, when I first started playing tennis because I wanted to be like Roger Federer. I mean, like any other kid, you want to use the same boots, the same cleats, the same shoes, the same racket, the same bandana. You want to have the same look as them. When you grow up, you want to be your idol, and Roger Federer is and still my idol. So I chose Wilson when I was younger, and I went through the ENCODE, the K-Factor, the Pro Staff, the blade I went I went through a lot and I stuck with the Wilson pro staff for the longest period of time because I wanted to feel I wanted to stay with Wilson because I wanted to be like Roger Federer and I wanted to have the same rackets as he does but after a while I realized that I couldn't use the same racket as he does because for one it's like swinging a brick and you need forearms the size of Jupiter in order to swing the damn thing. So I couldn't use exactly the same racket as he does. And so when I used the Pro Staff and they came out with a lighter version, I started using that instead. And then Dimitrov came with, that, came with his own racket with Wilson that looked like Federer's, but I didn't want to use that racket because it wasn't Federer's itself. Like I was very particular of what I wanted because I wanted to be like Roger Federer. I just stuck with the Pro Staff because it was the closest thing that I liked and it was the only thing that I enjoyed. I did like the Pro Staff, so when I used it, I loved it, it was very flexible, it was the only one of its kind. I wasn't able to find a Wilson one recently that kind of matched the way it felt and gave me something new to play with. As much as I love Wilson, the reason why I'm switching is I just need to upgrade and I wanted to kind of move on. I, in the past, I've tested other rackets. I tested the head one that Novak used a while back, Speed, and I've tested the Yonix one and the V-Core Pro, and I, I'm actually switching to Yonix. Uh, Yonix is currently taking over the tennis world in my mind, and I absolutely love the racket that I tested out and I demoed when I was at practice for some of the guys that I coach, and I absolutely loved it. I loved the way it felt off my racket for a one-hander. I loved the amount of power I was getting, and then when I tried a demo of it from the tennis spot, I changed the grip to for a new one, and the, so I did a brie wrap, and then I it had a hybrid of polyester and something else while I was playing with it, and I just got so much more pop. I really appreciate what Wilson has given me with these rackets, but I, I love, I like the rackets, so we'll see how this goes in sort of a new journey. I'm making a bigger deal of this, but I mean, after six years of using the same racket and switching to a completely different brand, it's very, it's very different, especially coming from a tennis player because you're switching brands, you're switching feel, you're switching tradition, and it's very hard for someone who's very used to tradition like myself and very OCD with like what I use and which brands I use too. I, I'm very excited to use this new one. If you guys do like these kinds of stories and my explanations for like the tennis world and stuff like that, please let me know. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. So leave a comment down below of what else you want to hear. So 
If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a big like on it as well, as well as make sure you're subscribed to Tweenerhead Tennis. Want to check us out and more behind the scenes content like our Instagram, which is very cool. You should go, you guys should go check it out. Check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for that matter. And for more behind the scenes content, check out tweenerheadtennis.com. Cool behind the scenes articles, photos, and Tweenerhead Tennis merch. I hope to see you guys very soon. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope to Thanks guys.